Get your tickets now for the 23rd annual edition of the Outshine LGBTQ Plus Film Festival happening April 23rd to May 2nd. Don't miss our incredible grand opening drive-in event followed by 10 days of non-stop films from here and all around the world that you can watch at home. Watch trailers and get your tickets at OutshineFilm.com now. Hello, everyone. This is Victor Jimenez. I'm your executive director for the Outshine LGBTQ Plus Film Festival. This is our 23rd annual Miami edition, and we're presented by Miami-Dade County and Gilead. I'd like to do a special thank you not only to our presenting sponsors, but also to our members that support us year after year, especially our Producer Circle member. If you're not a member, we encourage you to become one because it's with your support that we keep coming back. And now, without further ado, let me welcome Manuel Gubelli, from being Sasha for this virtual Q&A. Welcome, Manuel. Hi, thank you for having me. No, no, and thank you for being here. So actually, I, I wanna, wanna start off because you know, you, you, you're the writer and director of the short film, but the short film is very much, it, it comes across as almost like a documentary. And you know, Sasha is the name of both, you know, I guess the character and actually you know, the, the actor. So tell me, what was the impetus for this short film and, 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 and tell me how it got made? Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. It is a documentary, um, meaning that uh, Sasha is Sasha. It's not uh, someone playing Sasha. Um, but the way we did it um, was like quite different from like other documentaries. Um, I have done or we have seen, um, which is that we um, are like, I did all the interviews with Sasha about Sasha's life um, um, to get out like the story. And first, first, we didn't even film the interviews. And then um, like the plan was we do the interviews, then uh, we start the writing like because all the narration comes from the off voice, which is then read by Sasha, which is Sasha's story, but uh, in the end written by me and uh, with the help of Isa Tripodi, um, who worked with me on um, writing um, the film and directing. And um, so that was like the orig original plan. And then during the interviews, I figured out that like the relationship between um, Sasha and me in like front of the camera, um, or not in front of the camera in the beginning, the relationship should be like somehow part of the film because um, in the end, it's also about this, like what is my role in the film? What is the role of Sasha? Um, and although Sasha is speaking for uh, themselves, it's like um, I have a role in there, the one that makes the film. So we decided like while shooting the film, but we started to shoot also the interview parts. Um, not sure if we use it in a film. Um, but we decided then in, in the editing process that it's it's uh, the right thing to do and that it's also fair that it's clear who is the author of the film and who is protagonist. Now, if you... Or talking to me, I don't hear you. Ah, uh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, I, I did hear you. I apologize. I apologize. For that. Believe it or not, I had a little bit of an internet issue there, so I, yeah. But I got myself back in. So we're all here. the uh, the uh, the benefit and negatives of all this virtual stuff is that we're able to have this conversation with you being in Zurich and me in Miami. But sometimes if the internet doesn't work out for you, it kind of messes you up a little bit. But um, so the um, I'm about, apologies again for that. The so the um, 
I got totally thrown off. You know, do you mind, Manuel? I hate to do this because you gave such a good answer. Can we start it over again? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, okay, no. yeah. Let's let's. What I'm gonna do is, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, uh, I'll just start it over from the very beginning, and then, um, and then we'll very go from good. there. I apologize for. <laughs> no problem at all. All right. Now I'm into talking English. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Get your tickets now for the 23rd annual edition of the Outshine LGBTQ Plus Film Festival happening April 23rd to May 2nd. Don't miss our incredible grand opening drive-in event followed by 10 days of non-stop films from here and all around the world that you can watch at home. Watch trailers and get your tickets at OutshineFilm.com now. Hello, everyone. This is Victor Jimenez. I'm your executive director for the Outshine LGBTQ Plus Film Festival, 23rd Annual Miami Edition. We're presented by Miami-Dade County and Gilead, and for that, we're very appreciative. We're also very appreciative of you who are members, especially our Producer Circle member, that support us financially. If you're not a member, we, can, we ask you to consider becoming a member because it's with your support we're able to come back year after year. And thank you for being here today for our virtual Q&A with the short film, Being Sasha. And we have with us director Manuel Gubelli. Manuel, Hi. welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. No, 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 thank you for being here. Uh, really, my first question is, you know, you're listed as the writer uh, and director of the short film, but it, it really is, you know, Sasha is the person in the film and is Sasha. So it, it's really kind of like a, a hybrid, documentary narrative type scenario. Can you kind of just go over uh, how the short film itself developed and why you went with that approach? Yes, um, it is a documentary, meaning like Sasha really like is a real person um, and it is Sasha's story. Um, what we did like in the process of, of developing the, the film and the concept is that uh, I especially wanted to do something different, like from or, or something that differs from like the normal way of documentaries are done, um, which brings us to this um, film now, which is, I guess, um, a documentary, but it has the look and and the the feeling a bit of a um of a written film which is actually true because um we started doing um the interviews with sasha uh without camera just like for research and then uh, the plan was to write like sasha's story which is in the film read uh in the off voice by sasha um and then uh to record that but while doing it, um, we figured out, um, especially Isa Tripodi, who worked with me in this process and also uh, helped with directing then, um, we figured out that like at some point, the, the relationship between Sasha and, me and our roles, me as the director and Sasha, uh, who has like a total different agenda, um, is very important for the story and how the story is told. And um, it's also like, uh, we consider this also fair to make that clear. Also to be clear who the author of the film is, um, especially because you see and hear Sasha telling the story. Yeah, definitely. And actually you, you clicked on the memory in that scene where, you know, Sasha, is talking to you and and made that point you know like you you're you're coming at it from a certain point of view and i have a different 
point of view and in, in, in kind of establishing it. So I'm, I'm glad you actually said that because it, it clicked in that, that memory specifically in, in, in the film. How, how, did you, I, how did you find Sasha? And, I, and I'm, I mean, I'm not sure if, you, if, if you, the two of you were friends already. How did you find Sasha? And more importantly, like how was it getting the, this trust established to actually go through with the process? Um, I guess it was about three years ago that I saw Sasha um, doing a spoken word performance, like we see in the film, uh, a little part, um, on stage. And I was just, I didn't know uh, who that was. Um, I was just, I was, it was a night, I was very tired. I just sat there and watched uh, this, this uh, person like performing. And um, I was quite fascinated by how Sasha talked about gender and, and about this life, which, which is Sasha's life. And, um, but at, at that point, I didn't think of a film, to be honest. I just thought, oh, it's interesting. Uh, maybe at some point I will come back um, in, in some artistic way or whatever um, and contact Sasha. But then um, it was like um, there, there was like a, a possibility that I could do a movie uh, which should be like a new kind of documentary. And it just popped back to my mind that I've met Sasha and, and I called them. And uh, and very beneficial that that uh, Sasha agreed to to the whole process. Absolutely, which was which was a uh, part of the whole process because it's um, as you also see in the film, Sasha is um, has not only made like very good um, um, how do you say um, had also some some points in Sasha's life where the media was like um i wouldn't say exploiting but uh, how you see with these topics um media people coming want to show something that they have in their head like their own images and and so i had like to really earn the trust of sasha um and in the meantime sasha had to earn my trust and the trust of the team that we um i mean i said we're different we we want to try and do a film which is different and we want to listen and we want to discuss um so but in the end sasha just had to believe it uh which is something i'm very grateful for that uh, that this even happened yeah the and it's an important point i, I think um you know there's always has to be especially with some a documentary filmmaker or or, or like quite anybody in the media like establish a trust because you know, quite frankly in the let's say the regular media media the the stuff you know people that would you know do the news i mean they are coming from an agenda they want their sound bite they're never going to give you as much time as you need to like articulate your point of view and 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 who knows what what comes out of it and um and it, it was interesting when that was happening I, i'm and i apologize to the, the filmmaker that made it but we had a a, sh uh, a, a, a short film also where there was a photographer that wanted to get photos of um, um, uh, this, uh, uh, young trans boy, you know, that was doing photos on Instagram and wanted to make this big thing. And they were going to do this photo shoot, but you can even see in this film, in this documentary, where the point where it, it became like a, like like the photographer was using the yeah. the, the young person, and, and, and it became very you know me watching it just a very comfortable thing. So. You know, again, like I'm glad it was established the, the, the whole trust. The other thing I found that was, that was uh, sorry to interrupt, no <laughs> but that was like the, the main concern also of me and and the team, um, because I'm a, a white male uh, cis person. So, um, but in the end, it also it was also clear I also had, of course, my agenda um, because it should be my view of Sasha. Um, and not Sasha's view uh, in the end, the film. And uh, of course, this was like the thing I, I always worried. We always discussed like uh, days and nights. Um, do we approach this right? Do we um, 
do the right thing in the end. And uh, I hoped it were. I hope it uh, worked out. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, has Sasha seen the short film and and yeah. you know? Okay, perfect. And, Absolutely. And uh, and liked it, enjoyed it, and liked it. Like in general, uh, yeah. really liked it because of that reasons. Uh, yeah. Well, it's always hard to talk for someone else, but um, <laughs> um, for the reasons that it's like a different way of of um, of showing uh, trans people. Um, uh, like not we're used to be, and of course Sasha is not um, uh, like fan of every single thing in the film, mm -hmm. which is also clear because um, it's my view on right. on Sasha. Uh, but yes, in general, I guess uh, we're all quite happy how it turned out. <laughs> One of the things I, th I think, um, you know, my audience. Is going to enjoy and also in, in or or learn from is a better better term, um, you know. I, th I think it happens. You know, like the you know Sasha identifies as a a, a non-binary trans person, and I, I think there's a lot of people in the general population that that can get get their head around that concept. And and quite frankly, I, I, there's a lot of people in, within the LGBT community itself, you know, have the difficulty with the concept. And I I would even say it's like a you know, people a certain age, right? Um, so I really felt the the voiceover and this, the filming of, of Sasha just helps to kind of put a face to 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 a non-binary trans per person and their experience. And especially the voiceover of the experience of going to the gym and the water aerobics and, and the dealing, um, you know, with the bathroom and the response. And w was that a... a difficult for for Sasha to to do the voiceover for and kind of like you know like revisit those memories well in that case not really because it's it's part of Sasha's uh, spoken word show uh, mm -hmm. this this, um, this piece like um, but like in the in the um, like the main voiceover um, of course it was written uh, by me and um but i try to be like very very close to to the language and very close to also like the right wording for sasha but also like of course working with the text because in the end it has to be um it has to be a film for someone who um i always wanted to have a film for someone who is interested in the topic um but doesn't have to know to have uh, like a lot of knowledge about it so uh, that was like a, a a thin line to that i uh, was not always that clear if i cross it or not um by writing the text but in the end um we did like and of course i discussed a lot with sasha we discussed a lot with sasha and um and then we started doing the off voice which we did actually twice because um we figured out like in the editing uh that the first recordings we had still had like some kind of uh, distance between the voice and how sasha um, read the text and um, me as a viewer um, or us as viewers and um, so we did re-record it um, a second time and then we already knew because of the editing room what what we needed in which um, part of the film um, speaking of emotions speaking of how it should be said um, speaking of um, if it's like a, a, a part which will be probably louder or or um, or with music stuff like that, so we did re-record it like in a in a very late phase again, and it wait it made in the end a big difference. No, and that's that's part of you know the creative process, you know, just taking a look at what you have and and, and how to make it better. Yeah. I'm, this is more like a curiosity question. The, 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 the you know the scene in the, in the laundromat. She pulls out, I guess, a little lint tray, and there's that that little 
I don't know it, it was the, the, you know, the, the dryer or the washer is just different than what I'm used to. She, you know, it looks like she pulled out like a, like almost like a, like a sheet of like thin, like cardboard or lint. And then she puts it, I mean, then Sasha puts it into uh, in like a scrapbook. Like it, what is that? <laughs> like, what, like, I'm just kind of curious. What? It's, it's, it's actually something Sasha really did for like uh, several years, I think. Um, is uh, Sasha is not actually doing it now, but um, like when we first talked, Sasha uh, showed me this book with like all this this um, uh, it's not prints, but you know with the rest from the the um, how do you say in English um, the the dryer mm -hmm. um, where you have your clothing and and for me like that was a moment when we talked I totally of course in this moment i was like the filmmaker because i i thought oh okay that is something i can show and of course it's also loaded with you know um all clothes which is such a um like um gender thing um then it's like the clothes from the past and everything so i knew um that could be interesting for the film uh, so I, I just asked Sasha if it would be okay if we do that. And um, uh, so in the end, we shot that scene um, like coming out of this story that Sasha told me. And it's really like it's the original book uh, yes. Sasha keeps. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, er everyone has their little interesting things that they do. Um, and that was just like one I'm like, I'm very just curious about that. The um, what what has the reception been for the uh, for the film when for the people that have seen it? Like, have you, have you heard good feedback? Um, um, has has it started like like good dialogues between people that you're aware of? It's uh, it was overwhelming. I, I'm uh, we all the team and uh, me especially. I feel so blessed with uh, what how people reacted to the film. Um, it was like also shown uh, on TV, um, which was like a, a good thing in like last year, you know, because uh, all the festivals um, were like postponed or they were even canceled or uh, or they are online like now. So I get like quite a different um, way of feedback that I normally get for like um when you show films because it's all um it's in a way distant but people have somehow have to have a reason to write you and and to write Sasha and um that was like uh, overwhelming and and just wonderful voices of people telling um that it it changed something in their in their way they're coming out or whatever um so uh, like seeing and hearing from people that this this film moved them in one or another way um that's in the end why we do films i guess no and that's 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 great to hear and, and it has such a positive response and then and then you're you're getting feedback from like just different avenues, you know, out of the whole craziness of last year and the beginning part of this year. The um, I, I want to end with a compliment. I, I I loved how you you ended the film with like, and now my favorite color is, and then that's it. You know, it, it's just keep it keep it keep it the mystery. Um, Manuel, I, I want to thank you for being here today, taking time out of your day to you know to to be here for this Q and A. Um, you know, like I said, you're being Sasha, you know, I, I liked it a lot. I think it impacted me in a way it, it provided an experience that I just really honestly wasn't fam that familiar with, with a non-binary trans person. And it was just very well done. And I, and I'm positive my audience will, 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 will agree with my, uh, my, my sentiment. And again, thank you for making the film. Thank you for letting us show the film and thank you for being here today. Thank you for uh, showing our film. This is uh, why we do that. And I'm uh, super blessed that you chose to uh, show it. Thank you. You're welcome. And then for our audience, we're going to end with a uh, teaser clip from Being Sasha.
Ich habe schon immer nach der Wahrheit gesucht. Nicht davon ausgehend, dass es sie gibt, aber nach etwas Authentischem, Echtem, Unverstellten. Ich frage mich ununterbrochen, was ist der Hintergrund von irgendetwas? Wie funktioniert es? So gehe ich halt allem sehr langsam nach, gleiche mich immer wieder ab, mach mal einen Schritt nach vorn und dann auch wieder einen zurück. Okay, sehr guter Blick, sehr guter Blick. Jetzt kriegen wir ein bisschen offen, ganz, ganz ein bisschen offen. Sehr gut, schön. Wenn man jemanden Neues kennenlernt, erzählt man ja erstmal, was man macht. Ja, wieder so. Danke. Meine aktuelle Tirade geht so. Ich arbeite in einer Bar, habe diese Queer Spoken Word Show. Ich bin gerne ordentlich, repariere iPhones und wohne in Basel. Und dass ich gerade in einer mega schönen Beziehung mit einer Tänzerin aus Schweden bin, sage ich auch noch gerne. Das andere kommt meistens später. <lacht> <lacht> 